Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Ag Ang Agnes. Agnes, no, that's <laughs> I'm even getting my own name wrong. This starts well. Angus, Dr. Random Mole. And right over there we have. It's Omar Omzer Buchter, and next to me is. Desimir Polidopoulos. And tonight we will be once again playing with the past like Omar. A historian plays in the archive. Yes, because you, you play hard in those archives, right? All the time, like sniffing up dust and stuff, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. As you do, yeah. <laughs> that's, it's, uh, that's, those are your words, man. So you're trying to say <laughs> that you, you got dusty brains then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, cool. No, but tonight we are going to be uh, more uh, on, on, on the side of the historians in the sense that we are going to be not that, not that there's a battle here between archaeologists and historians. Not at all. <laughs> no, 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 never. <laughs> but we are going to be. Ah, there is no. <laughs> we, we're playing. We're playing a game made by historians, uh, with a lot of historical archival research in there as well. Um, and we're going to be playing Attentat 1942, uh, which is a game made by. Um, um, Charles, Charles, what, Charles, Depp? Charles University. Yeah, it's Charles so University. It's yeah. uh, and the Czech uh, Academy of Sciences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, it's and one, it's, and apparently it's, it's like one, it's the first game in a broader project called Czechoslovakia 38. Yeah. Hmm. Aspect of history, uh, Czech contemporary history. If, uh, if an up description of the, of the project. Yes, you're you're fall you're dropping away a little bit, Alex. Yeah. Fine. Oh wait, then I'm gonna just close one of the streams and. Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he was before the stream like, like, can you hear me? And, and you know, I was like, uh, yeah. yeah. And he was like, no, not like completely ignoring him. <laughs> he got very upset. And now we I... can literally not hear you very well. But now probably getting better. You can now. hear me now. Yeah, it's fine. Now, now yeah, it's now fine. it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's um um. I first heard of this game uh, when I was in uh, the Clash of Realities uh, conference um, last year, in October it was, or November, I don't don't recall, uh, in Cologne. And um, uh, the developers of this game were there and they were, were speaking, not in the same session I was in, unfortunately, and I didn't get to catch the session that they were in. But uh, I, I'm, since then I wanted to play this game and I saw it pass by in the, um, the launcher, which is this game section of the Washington Post Journal. Warmly recommended because it's not behind the paywall yet of the Washington Post. And there's yet. really, yes. yet, yeah, because I'm guessing the Washington Post just tries something, like tries to, in, to go into ju games journalism. And it is like proper, yeah. proper games journalism because there's very cool features and they also do game reviews and things like that. And one of the features that they did was on Attentat 1942 and particularly this idea of, you know, how can we tell the history of, world, of this World War of World War II in a way that is still a game, but it's not always about you know running around with a gun in your hand and just shooting shooting at enemy uh, enemy soldiers. And uh, now let's let's just check out uh, how this works in practice. So if I'm gonna switch to playing right now, then the whole screen will be still black, and that's because uh, there's this intro intro movie in the beginning that uh, just starts playing right away. So um, I have to press play right now on Steam, on Steam, and we're gonna do that. And you'll uh, after that we will do still some 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 o uh, OBS shenanigans because we have to set something so uh, Omar and Aris can watch. But after that we're gonna dive straight in. V březnu 1939 obsadilo nacistické Německo zbytky Československa. Vládcem nad vyhlášeným protektorátem Čechy a Morava se později stal Reinhard Heydrich, prominentní nacista a jeden z hlavních strůjců holokaustu. 27. května 1942 provedli českoslovenští parašutisté na Heydricha úspěšný atentát. Odveta byla brutální. Více než 1500 lidí bylo popraveno, 3000 židů byly poslány do koncentračních táborů. Nacisté vyhladili české obce, lidice a ležáky. 
protektorátu zavládl strach. That's a, a good introductory movie to have. I'm gonna um, now I'll switch the sound a little bit lower, first of all. Is it, is, let's see. Is it, is it, there we go. That, that's off. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> that will be a bit too much, right? Switching it entirely off. And now I'm gonna do the Discord shenanigans. So I'm gonna. So I can hear what's going on in the game. Stop um, oh, well, I can just start streaming at the top, right? Does this work for you? 1942, this is this already working out for you or not? Okay. I'm not hearing anything, but... Let's see if I can... Oh, I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, okay. Not getting anything. Application window with sound, share. Is this better? Yeah, now I can hear something. Feels Yay! interesting. All right. I can hear, but I can see a gray screen only. A gray screen? Like, I can only see... I cannot see the shared... Uh... Oh, I can see it. <laughs> oh, 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 Aris. I mean, you know that it's probably because I'm on the browser version, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, man, what can I say? What can this I say? Is how... This is... Uh, this is... Um... Uh, so uh, you'll have to uh, watch along with the stream then, I guess. <laughs> oh, because that will uh, lag me behind, oh, right? Yes. Just your so, so how, my friend, are you solving your your technical issue? <laughs> I mean, I will, uh, uh, I, what, 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 you will rejoin the call. Oh, that's, that's always nice. And see if this, this... Have you tried turning it on and off again? <laughs> yes. Most of the time works. So. Yes. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and let's, let's give this. The alternative is just um, would be um, streaming via uh, just uh, just me sharing your uh, my my screen with you. It's not super critical to hear the sounds, but they're kind of nice to hear the the spoken language. I am here, and and I can see. It you is see? so. It is. It is. It is a grayish screen, right? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see like I can see the game now. Okay, okay cool. good, good. We're good to go. That's. Uh, we'll just cut this entire part off. <laughs> like, and then uh, this this super riveting part where we play around with OBS and Twitch technology and Discord technology, it's just a miracle that this this thing just just flies right. So all right, anyway, let's yeah. uh, let let's get into it. So um, maybe just to start with, uh, I'm gonna speak for myself. I am not anywhere close to an expert on World War Two, especially not on any World War Two uh, uh, things happening in well anything that is not Western Europe, more or less. Uh, Aris, I don't know how your World War II history is. I mean, I've, I've watched my fair share of, like, especially older World War II documentaries and quite a bit of World War II, but that's, that's about it. Yes, uh, but Omar, fortunately, is well, a, bit, a, bit more yeah. of a, a bit more of a World War II buff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So dangerous um, waters always, but uh, still dangerous waters. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> clearly, clearly, we are not to any level. That said, this is also a game that is, as we will see, is a game that is meant to to teach you about this, right? To to have you experience this. So uh, probably it's maybe best if you don't listen to what we're saying about any sort of facts, <laughs> but what if nope. you're listening to the to the game. So I'm just gonna play right now, and it's one of those things where you want to be quiet because you want to listen to the game. Ahoj, nezapomeň se večer stavit za babičkou, potřebuje pomoc s tím balením a stěhováci přijedou už zítra ráno. Já jdu za dědou do nemocnice. Máma. Z 
So uh, that's the that's the more of the setup that we're gonna get. Just shenanigan shenanigan with OBS a little bit more. But let's see. Can I still change this frame around? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Um, so we're gonna visit our grandma. All right. Cool. Done. So um, there's some, there's a lot of choices in this game. Uh, it's a little bit, in that sense, like a like a video version of a Twine game. So, nice. um, uh, so we're going to either throw out this radio, no one's going to listen to it, or that's a cool radio. Can I keep it? So I already confessed that I'm a bit of a hoarder, so I would never. <laughs> of course, we're going to keep this radio. Yeah. What are you talking <laughs> <Yes>. about? <laughs> <clears throat> Může si ho oh nechat, God. to jsme s dědou poslouchali, než ho odvezlo gestapo. Vidím to, jako by to bylo dneska. Děda hrá na klárinek nějakou písničku, kterou já jsem neznala. So it's a... Uh interactive in the sense that you can make some some choices here you can have to advance the the, the game by clicking on these bubbles but yep absolutely in blue hmm yeah nice good good ball i don't like it so we're Getting some somebody at the door. I, I I have to say I love the art so far. Yes, it's amazing. So, <laughs> angry neighbor, we've all encountered those. I will just read it because it's uh, yes. your faces are in the way. Have you gone mad? <laughs> Such noise, jazz music right now. For what? Don't you know what happened? Oh, yeah, there's nothing. Turn on the radio! That is bad news. Very bad news. The leaflets. Oh, that's even worse news. Hide them. I will sell the Gestapo. Okay, then. So where to hide leaflets? Hiding the leaflets. Only a few seconds to hide the leaflets. So we now must decide where in this apartment we will hide the leaflets. Choose a spot to hide. We have a clicking. few seconds. Yeah, a few. Uh, it's so not too much. It's not too long. We have to think quickly. Think on our feet there. So where would you, uh, you know, hide hide some sort like this? Uh, here maybe? Yes. This? Yeah. Yeah, this seems like a good one, uh, right? Or in the radio? Can we put it in the radio? No. Wait. No, no, no. In the bed. Can no, that's not good. In the closet. Yes. Uh, yes, we can put it in the closet. Where? Here? They're gonna find it there. Uh, on the bottom? Yeah. On the bottom? Oh, on the bottom, on the bottom of the clue. Yeah, I mean yeah, there. Can you? There. Yes. All right, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah there, there, there. I think it's gonna fail. What do you think, Omar? I don't know. I've never hidden leaflets for the Gestapo, so. No, 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 no. Same here. All right, this is on you, Ares, if this goes wrong. This is on me. On me. They... Man, they emptied all the drawers and searched them carefully. Fortunately, oh you know, um, 
uh, this woman had the sense to hide the leaflets elsewhere. We 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 failed at hiding leaflets. Um, it would but, be. Uh, but, uh, yeah. but yes, uh, so we didn't get any coins. Saved by the plot, yeah, exactly. Yes, saved, saved by, by the plot. plot. Plot device saved us. So we didn't get any coins. And I don't know, I have, I've only sort of explored this uh, for 15 minutes. So I don't know if there's anything to spend coins on. But I think it's just a, a, a neat uh, device that they put in the game here to say whether you did or not follow um, what yeah. happened uh, or what likely happened in this, yeah. in this particular history. So no coins for us, meaning right. we're beside beside the mark. Wow, that's that's three years wow. of, of not seeing your husband. So the game objective right now is to find out what uh, what happened. Uh, was so more or less why 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 our yeah, grandfather was arrested. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, of course, this is the game objective from us looking from well, not the present because it's two thousand one that we're playing is. Um, <laughs> we sort of want to find this out, um, but. Um, I briefly also wanted to have a little quick look at uh, the encyclopedia that is in this game. Um, at least if I can. Come on, you. Wait, encyclopedia. Oh, apparently this is not a. Hmm, maybe this is not a moment. Point three. Yeah, maybe not. Yes, maybe yes. It's game. probably in other other places. Uh, anyway, we continue. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Now I can uh, in these in these video moments. Yeah. So as you can see, there's now there's quite literally a whole encyclopedia. There will be an alphabet of different <clears throat> things, and then uh, you know one of the items. Oh, as, we, as we like uh, uncover things, they they are added to the encyclopedia. Then. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and there's this, this a lot of background information as well as original documents as you can see, right uh, right here uh, uh, in this encyclopedia. So we're not of course not going to read through all of it. But, um, uh, you know, it, it's not now. quite, no, not, not now, <laughs> not because that would be a bit too much. If you're, if you're playing the game, you should, uh, you should be reading me. Yeah, no. So this is one of those things that, uh, I mean, to be honest, I never sort of browse through the entire, uh, uh, like, like a civilopedia in one game or whatever, but it is no. still, it is still, I always end up reading a couple of search entries like this, right? Right. And, and. And even more sure, than just yeah. a couple. Yeah. Um, and what I read from this one already is that that it it's really accessibly written, super super nice and clear English as well. I'm gonna turn the game sound even a little bit lower. Um, at least on my end, yeah. it's a little bit loud still. Um, let me know if it's too low on your end now on the on the stream's end, but. Um, <clears throat> So, all right, we get now. We wanna do. We want to talk about what's happening here in the um, in the game, or do we? Are we happy with um, just? Um, I think we push, can uh, push, push. do a couple more. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. I look, and then we can talk a little impossibly. All right so what sort of leaflets were they can, can we guess what sort of leaflets they were i don't think they were discount coupons for mm -hmm. uh for for anything they were uh what i guess not of, what sort of leaflets were they uh are you all guessing probably resistance I, I'm, or I'm, I'm, yeah, resistance or marxist yeah, yeah. so archie fantasy says Lifting. that 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 he he, he loves this woman <laughs> oh, wait uh, he or she but they sorry they love this woman um and and yes, for sure. That's that would be my first thing. That's uh, um, this is an absolutely. So one of the things is so in the beginning of the game it says that it's a historical. It's it's historical, but it's still a, fic a fictitious story. So that yeah, this is an actor, right? Must be that, right? This... Um, I don't. Oh, could be. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, so it's so one of the things. Know. So I mean, of course, this was made recently. So 
this this woman if she would have been alive during the war would have been very old now so if you know if so this is yeah, yeah, 2001 yeah. so this must al almost be an yeah. actor uh, that of somebody that um yeah. yeah so but still i mean yeah I, i'm uh, yeah this this is excellent uh, an excellent actress this is an excellent actress and just the yeah, way that she mimics the... and uh the way that she yeah. looks it i mean and also well shot right this just super engaging her eyes and, well yeah. yeah and yeah, just yeah. the moving movement moving moving image basically uh it's it really yeah. i really feel and this is something that i rarely have in in games that i'm in i'm sitting next to i mean of course this is a video but still that i'm sitting across from a person having some sort of uh, uh you know discussion with her like uh, like an an engagement because it's such a yeah anyway uh, big, uh, character, is, big character, big screen presence is what we, could, we would call that in uh, in the movies, right? So uh, anyway, what sort of leaflets were they? Byli to proti niemiecki letáci z války. Dal je mi nějaký kamarád Matiáš Grejcar. Bydlel tady někde na Vinohrade. Já už vůbec nevím, ještě jestli žije. Wait, J.A. says that... Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought he was projecting to himself. Like, <laughs> But no, not our granddad. But yes, our granddad was yeah. somehow involved in assassinating. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll have to find this out. Yeah, it looks like it, but... Yeah. Shame. So, so one of the things um, that I really love about this already is um, that we're talking to our, our grandparent. And I, I don't know how it was with, with you, Um uh, whether uh, I mean I know from from Alice that his his grandparents lived through the war uh, two wars in fact we talked about that right um, about my uh, yes. my granddad yeah. yes exactly did, did your were your uh, grandparents alive when uh, yeah when definitely you, yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah so uh, were they already born is what I'm trying to say um, yeah same 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 for my grandparents and unfortunately my grandparents aren't with with me anymore with us anymore they died quite a while ago. But um, I have a, a similar story from my grandparents around leaflets as well. So, of course, this was this, this printing of, of news and all sorts of other resistance propaganda was a, a big thing that you could do as part of a resistance movement, like sharing information. And uh, my, my um, um, grandfather was also in the, the, the leaflet distribution business. <laughs> well, not business, but in the, the resistance part of it. And um, um, uh, my grandmother was uh, 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 sort of transporting these, and that's how they how they met as well. So, uh, so if it weren't for for resistance leaflets, I would not have have been in this uh, in this world because you know they may not have, or it would have been somebody very different from uh, from me, because they met they met because of this uh, this uh, leaflet uh, resistance uh, resistance uh, production distribution of leaflets. So that's. Already a very personal kind of thing. So anyway, can we see the leaflets? Yes, please. <laughs> such a such a grandmother. <laughs> like, oh your granddad. <laughs> yeah, I'll go I'll go look I'll go look for them. Alvin Bruce says speaking of grandpa and my grandpa from my mom's side shared the story. Her story about I found their occupied Java. Oh wow! Me. Okay, that is uh, yeah. That, that that those are some other stories, right? From uh, from uh, from uh, from what what was then uh, the Dutch colony of uh, of Indonesia. But uh, uh, yeah, there was an occupation there. But uh, uh, at the same time, it was a Japanese occupation within an an occupation that was just a Dutch occupation. So. Um, that is a part yeah. of 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 the war, uh, the world war that we get get a little bit of in our in our in our schools and our universities, right? Like uh, a little, little, little bit. Way, little too, bit. way too little. And, and generally, like outside, like in the Netherlands, I guess you get a little bit because it's part of the Dutch history. But outside, it's the place of the world that you rarely hear much about because our view of the war is very European centric, of course. Yeah. Um, what we get in schools in countries yeah. so you you like you rarely hear anything that happened on yeah, yeah. that part of the world. 
No, and, and that's what I think. So this is very neat already, but we, I will keep on playing a little bit later. But um, that's what I think is neat about this game is that it allows you to to just go for these. I mean, of course, this is super relevant if you're in a you know a Czech uh, educational system. But it's also super interesting for us because I know relatively little of this, and I can just see something like yeah. this being produced all over the world because every it was a world war quite literally. So every world, every be, um, almost every part of the globe will have have their own stories there. Yeah. So anyway, continue. So this is this is so Omar. We're secretly doing an archaeological wow. game. Did you know? Oh no, <laughs> because it's just. This material culture. <laughs> this is material culture. Ah, <laughs> uh, so yeah, one most eight years ago passed away. Yeah, ah, oh, sad. My 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 condolences. It's that, of course, is is something that happens when when our grandparents or the people that were in fact survivors of this period pass away. They they just take away uh, well with them. Uh, you know, these stories also pass on, and you have to learn them from from things like this and uh, rather from things like this that are active and engaging than uh, than just you know a, a dull history book I may have to skip out for a tiny moment. I kind of wish that I could give control over to the stream for you because my daughter is in the other room. Yeah, I have to, I have to go. Sorry, we'll be uh, back uh, in a minute. Uh, we, we can talk about this, but it yeah. is indeed like a... Keep on talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's this kind of like personal stories that you hear, but you don't get otherwise. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, the other it's type of like, history. That yeah. You get. But it's something like the last couple of years, more and more of these personal stories have been shared. Like in the beginning, it was all about the big, the big stuff. And you see, like yeah, like with, well. yeah. What do you like? Let's play the most depressing game ever. Uh, no, no, <laughs> that was not. That, that was definitely not the intent. But, uh, it's the kind of game that is also very relevant to play, right? One part because of what we're discussing, like the other histories that we don't get to hear, or stories of places that we usually they represented in the global history because it's not the impo like the important thing uh, for the grand narratives. So we're breaking um, all sorts of social media policies right now. Are we? Yes. Say say say, say yeah. Say say hi to. No, you could look for a tiny 10 seconds and now you're going to heading back off to bed again. Okay, you back in a bit. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> the mouse, the graphic novel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very much the same. Um, yeah, I think mouse, mouse was one novel. of the, like, the first big ones of those personal stories which really broke out into the wider world. Like, yeah, yeah, you can't yeah, find sure. a history student who hasn't heard of Mouse by now. Um, mainly because it's yeah. also part of the curriculum. Um, at least yeah. for me it was. Oh, well, that's I had some because... on, like, narrativism, and then we, we talked about Mouse because it's one of the uh, prime okay. examples of how to tell stories about mm -hmm. such a... Yeah. Like, how do cows, how do yeah. you ever tell stories about that? How do you ever explain that by using stories like Mouse or other... That's very interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Uh, of course, I, I know Mouse, and I've told it as a gift for several friends, but I, I didn't know that uh, it was yours in your curriculum. Yeah, it is, and it is the stunning type of comic that, uh, yeah. that you read, and it kind of impacts you for 
a very long time, especially if you read it at an age that you um, started comprehending this type of things, like mouse, yeah. I think, like 18 or 19 when you're young, but something. <coughs> That's a lesson for today. When you yeah. live in a world where nothing is actually set the way to set them. You know, um, you. And um, I mean, we recently, recently, last year, we visited Auschwitz. Yeah, Auschwitz, yes. yes. And it yes. was uh, yeah, this. This type of documents and this type of stories, I mean, it's not the, the kind of place that you want to visit, as in this. Uh, it's, it's an example of what uh, Florence Smith Nichols It's is a about. painful visit, right? It's dark yeah. heritage, right? For, 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 for okay, because, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's not, strangely enough, not valuable heritage or it's not something that you want to know about. But it's, yeah, as you say, it's an absolutely painful thing to to do to emotionally pain to uh, to visit that place you can only imagine how absolutely distressing it would have been to um, to be in, yeah. in, in, in yeah to be in one of those camps uh, yourself but uh, now i i probably talked about it already but sort of all the items in here right that uh, yeah we already uh, went uh, yeah it's, it's just yeah, that lift but all right, we're not wiki crutching right now, but I do have a, a desire to know what a credenza is. Or do you, or do you know, Omar? No, it's <laughs> okay. probably a piece of furniture or something. Probably, but... yeah. I've, I've just never heard of uh, it. A credenza is sideboard, apparently. Sideboard? Oh, board. okay. Like this. Uh, it's like, it's a cut like this. Uh, uh, just a sh short cupboard that you, or a sideboard that you have, like a buffet kind of thing in the house. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, I really love, I really love the, the angle that this game takes because you can clearly see that, you know, the people that made this game, they they know how to interweave histories with with the stories told by things. Ah, it's yeah. just really wonderfully done. Yeah. Also, I one thing I really like is that we're discussing how this is a really dark. so you were so, saying as uh, so what i want to say is that what this game does is discuss how this is like a very dark topic and a difficult like to tackle but it doesn't it doesn't try to deal with the darkness of the topic it just lets the topic speak by itself so it presents you with a number of objects right? it's not like a dark environment or a very depressing music or something like that it no. really is just yeah, yeah. what that's what happened to that person and yeah. Yeah. hear that story and of course the story is super powerful and, and gives you this dark and depressing feeling because the story is like that and it doesn't need to be dressed in a different way and I think this makes it uh, all more powerful yeah yeah these are stories that you really you know you don't need atmosphere 
to um oh exactly to, i mean of course you can destroy atmosphere if you make a very like haha funny game around this or whatever it, i mean if you want you can always do that but it doesn't need to have its atmosphere <laughs> like pushed into yeah. into because you just feel when you see fo uh, vi uh, photos like this or you see or you hear her talk you just quite literally i feel yeah. it in my in my you know in the, in, the, in my stomach it's it's uh yeah yeah wonderfully wonderfully well i mean wonderfully done but it's really good really good design and really good so it's really interesting because it's really good game design as well as good history design right uh, uh omar is this and good narrative design yeah yeah, yeah. good narrative i mean that's quite literally what it is like I, i'm always a little bit jealous because i think that as a history you get um history writing in in your like first year you're sort of told how to write history right well, it, <laughs> yeah, I, I think it depends at least which in university Leiden. you go. Okay, at least in Leiden they, uh, they, they get that. But maybe they do it now in Utrecht as well, but not when I started. So, but that's a long time ago. So, mm -hmm. but, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like geschiedschrijving for uh, historici or something like that. Is that they have to go through this, to this course in this book, and that's something that we don't really get as archaeologists. So as archaeologists, you you learn how to you know describe objects and do field reports yeah but the the narrative of it and the, the <clears throat> histories around it you sort of have to learn by yourself and i always have a feeling that because i i teach in a or I used to well, I'm still teaching in a history department now and i th i think that historians generally have archaeologists beat when it comes to storytelling 100 percent. yes 100 but yeah it's, it's also true because like the whole history depends on stories it's not more than stories, so yeah. yeah but I mean, it's, it's like it's like our biggest tool is a story. Yeah, but yeah, same thing for arch I mean, I think archaeologists always have the object to fall back on, and and for yeah. some reason that many archaeologists end up not not really coming up with like evocative, That's creative, true. truthful stories. And uh, well, I mean, not not across the board, but you know, it's it's less of a focus, which I think is always a pity, because you know, in the end. For me, it's story story of humans and what they did with their things has to come first, and that's not always the case in archaeology. But uh, anyway, um, I think we are uh, wait probably this one prison letters. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ten strach a ta bezmoc. Tak jsem si řekla, že musíme jít silná a vydržet a pak to vydrží i věda. Každý den jsem za něj se chodila modlit. Yeah. Yeah. I can uh, can start start to imagine this. Such a yeah cra crazy time when and. Um, when when letters were the only first of all just when letters were the only way of communicating a long distance and then of particularly within this context must be well, it must be what, what she says basically like what she says <laughs> like that that's what it is uh, <laughs> so i think that was everything right uh, and if not um, we can we will be able to uh or wait well, oh what? we can return yeah yeah so did, did, like did you have to book on top left i oh, didn't did. I think we did, yeah, yeah. Oh, we did, yeah. yeah, yeah, and and the newspaper, right? We did. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. So the Gestapo arrested Grandpa during the war. Grandpa was hiding anti-German leaflets in the apartment. Grandpa's friend from the army, I can't pronounce these names unfortunately, but Matthias, something like that, Kretscher, gave him the leaflets. So that's that's the... These are the, the pieces of the puzzle that we have. That we have right now, yeah. So uh, we, we're just... We can call this. Yes, let's try and call this, uh, this Matthias. We have the other Grandpa too. Yes. Grandpa's army buddy, member of the resistance movement during the war. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh. Okay, that's clearly a, a history buff. 
Kreuzer, Kreuzer. Das ist ein Pferd. Uh, well, uh, let's be polite, right? Let's Can be I ask you? Kind, of, yes. kind of rude. <laughs> kind of rude to be like, so, hey man. Did you live during Nazi occupation? <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Can I, that, that's, I mean, for sure, that, that like, we can make a joke about this, but it is also something that I don't know if you felt that when you were talking to your grandparents about <laughs> this, or if you were even able to do that. And, and, but, it, it is something that you knew was always not necessarily risky to talk about, but there was definitely this. For me, anyway, I mean, when I was talking yeah, to my grandparents, yeah. there was this special, special thing about you. You weren't like, wouldn't just do that. Like even as a kid, you knew that that's not something you just go right over. No, definitely no. It's just yeah. you won't go up to your grandma like, oh, how was the war? No. Yeah. I mean, as a, as a very little kid, I did that, but and then you know. But then you're a little kid, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But not not when I was a bit older. Uh, anyway. Co to na mě zkoušíte? Chápu, že si musíte nějak na sebe vydělávat, ale co je moc to je. Ok. Dneska už mi dvakrát volali kvůli nějakým slevám pro důchodce. Jednou pojištění, po druhý zase slevy na telefon. But I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Wait. Oh, oh, what, oh, oh, what did you do? Oh, Matthias. Wait. Oh, we cannot call him again. Oh, we, were, we were maybe a bit too... Oh, we were maybe. Oh, I hope we get to call him later because I want to know. Oh what my god! <laughs> oh well. Um, uh, let's maybe visit our uh, Yindrich or or, or or grandpa. Or no, just call Marie. Marie first. All right. Yeah. I'm uh, okay. Let's let's be smarter now. So this is the yeah. woman that was helped by uh, our. I don't think we were not smart. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, okay, one option, so we can't mess that one up. <laughs> yeah, okay. I would think. Okay, two options now. I'm trying to find out something about my grandpa. Uh, Mr. Sevanotsky allegedly knew him. I'm looking for historical witnesses to the war who knew my grandpa. Let's let's be a little bit more direct. Yeah, I think a little bit more All right, all right, all, all right. right, all right, game. All right. That went bad. Right Could be worse. Though. Could be worse. <laughs> okay, so um, I think we can still go back to grandma, or do you want to go to grandpa? This kind, the bad game design on the level of Frog's Fall, everyone dies. Why do you get punished for being polite? Um, well, we're not sure if you're getting punished. I'm yeah. yeah. Maybe so, we can call call him again tomorrow. Or maybe the other option would have been the same. Like, you don't know. Yeah. Mm. Maybe he would have shot, off, yeah, a different dialogue option, but he would have, like, the, the outcome would have been so maybe. It is it is maybe bad game design, but I, I, what in, from one perspective, like, you, you as, a, as a player, uh -huh. you don't want to sort of do something that society tells, tells you is right, like be polite when you talk to somebody who's more or less a stranger. Uh, but at the same time, I think it's kind of realistic. So for yeah. me, it's yeah, you know, right, Omar. Yeah, of course. I yeah. mean, it's not it's, the first time that you ask some something to someone and they're like, "Well, nope, not interested." By <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, this stuff know. just happens in real life. So you just call up some some apparently cranky old dude. And uh, and uh, and he's like with yeah, planes, so with, yeah, he's like he's yeah, he just wants to focus on on painting miniature warplanes. He's not interested in people trying to sell him things. This stuff happens, so this makes it uh, maybe no. it's a bit sort of like surprising from a game design point of view, but it feels realistic to me. It's something that just happens. All right, um, so let's go yep. to black. Let's go back to grandma. Oh, we had go to the other grandpa now. Yeah, but all right. Let's let's get back. Let's get back. I wanna I wanna interact a little bit more with Luke Miller because you know. So how did Grandpa keep the Gestapo distracted? Yes, that's a good question. How how? What will you do? What would you What would you, Aris, if you have to distract a Gestapo officer? Distract the Gestapo officer? I, I don't know. My <coughs> all my reactions are relatively um. 
violent in regards to how you distract someone. Yeah, but it's interesting, <laughs> right? Because you know, in a game, like in a game game, if this was <clears> a, <throat> like a, yeah. a Battlefield 2 or whatever, like how do you distract? What do you mean distract him? I'm just going to shoot him in the face. <laughs> yeah. right, that's... I don't know, but it could have been like, I think if it was like a game, like a... It, if it was like a stealth game, you would just throw a stone on the against yeah. the opposite wall, and Ross <laughs> exactly. would just what walk there. Yeah, yeah, what was? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I, I must go there. You're like, like, you're like, let let a cat, you know, like, like walk by or something like that, or uh, yeah, like, and then you're like, oh, there's a cat. Let's let's look at the cat. Yeah, exactly. That's that's a game game. So, but that's of course not how people. Do. So, how would you distract a Gestapo officer? Omar? I don't know. I have literally no idea. Same I mean, here. They're Gestapo. They're not like the ones you mess with. I would, I would, I would. I mean, right now, of course, I would pee my pants if a Gestapo officer, uh, because there, there's some some really strange thing happened. But even back then, I would, I would honestly just probably, like, yeah, quite literally pee my pants if something <laughs> like that happened. Like, because can you imagine more or less the most dangerous individuals around? Yeah. At in front of your door. All right, let's see uh, how the game handles this. Sniper series where you can distract the soldier. Is that what you want? Uh, that's yeah. <laughs> it's one of, one of those sniper and Nazi zombie armies or whatever. Sniper elite, probably. Geheime Staatspolizei. Herr Jelinek. Are you alone? Um, are, probably we have to come up with some sort of excuse. Are we alone? Okay, uh, Indrid had to come up with something qu quickly to preoccupy them. Okay. Uh, no, we're not alone. Uh, ooh, crap, the timer. Uh, what, 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 what? I'd like, I'd like, but I'd like to, what? <laughs> to, to know? But I'd like to know, to, yeah, to, to know. To know. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you looking for? <laughs> What do you have? What do you have? Uh, what? Oh fuck! Search warrant? No. Search warrant? <laughs> During the war, no one used search warrants. <laughs> oh well. Well, uh, they would have smacked Grandpa for such a response. Yeah, I, yeah, pro probably. Probably, yeah. Gestapo agents Jesus, were just rich. having discussions in doorways. Grandpa told them that I was getting dressed. I had only a moment to hide and leave this. Yeah, right. That would probably, if you think about it, Grandpa, he just Makes told them, like, so my wife is just, you know, getting dressed. So can you just, like, hold on for a moment? That's probably the best way to get out of it. Well, yeah. Of the Jojo Rabbit Gestapo scene. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jojo Rabbit Gestapo scene. Yes. Yeah. I haven't seen Jojo Rabbit yet. No, me, me neither. So. All right. No spoilers then. <laughs> no spoilers for Jojo spoilers. Rabbit in the chat or right here by me. The only spoiler that I will give is that go see this movie. It is such a great movie. Go watch it. It's... I really want to. I really, really want to really watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, stream it tonight, uh, people. It's uh, it's it's really, um, yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's a it's a great one. Um, and af after you've watched it, then we will tell the, the people that are watching the stream. And we will talk about it, and and there will be lots of spoilers. And then, uh, we, but but first, you watch it, and then we can talk about Jojo Rabbit. All right, we didn't get any coins again, so okay. Oh, clearly. All right. If we keep messing this thing up. Yes. No, my wife is in the bedroom. Wait, she's dressing. There they come. <coughs> Frau Jelinek, hurry up. House search. Okay, yeah, they just busted in there for no reason. Okay, that happened in this apartment? Wow. Okay, 
ale potom mě z toho bytu vystěhovali, protože byl pro jednu osobu moc veliký. What? A chtěli ty byty jako to, ty pro ty lidi, kterým rozbombardovali ty bar, byty, nastěhovat. Po válce jsem do se do toho, toho bytu vrátil a ještě dřív, než děda přišel z koncentráku. Wow, wow. <laughs> Just... Um, well, um, that's that's yeah. You don't even realize that. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know for any stories from the Netherlands where people were moved out of their house because they were living. Oh yeah, definitely. Country. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, especially during like when the war came to Holland. Yeah. Yeah, like Arnhem. Everyone had to go out of Arnhem because you don't really want civilians in the fighting situation. Right. So there are big evacuations, but also like people. I think the same happened here in the Netherlands with like when some of the family members were arrested and the, the apartment was deemed too big or the house was deemed too big, uh, they just took it. Mm. Wow, that's... And also just like to, to house German soldiers as well. That happened as well. That's, yeah, that's that's quite literally insult to injury. You're, you're, you know, your, your family members get arrested and then you have to move out of your house because your family get, members get arrested. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> nobody's expecting any sort of re reason here from, from the Gestapo or from the German occupiers, but it, it just, um, it isn't, it's, it's kind of, kind of crazy if you think of all, all the little horrible ways that, that people were just done violence to in 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 this war from both sides because i mean not only little ways because we just heard about uh, the bombing of prague shall we uh, look at the encyclopedia item for that omar do you know, do you know yeah i don't know that? i don't know much about the know, bombing I'm kinda, kinda it's probably allied like bombings because that's what they did <laughs> because <laughs> necessarily yes. I, I don't know prague Arid. was like occupied very early on yeah so air raid warnings begun in Prague as early as spring 1941, but the first bombings did not place, take place until 15 November 1944. This small-scale attack was undertaken by the 15th American Air Force, which dropped several bombs on a power plant. So this is Allied, allied uh, air raids. Then. Yeah. Um, the bombing that occurred on 14 February 1945 was more serious. It was launched by mistake. Wow. By 62, 62 bombers from the 8th American Air Force en route to firebomb Dresden. As if as if Dresden hadn't been firebombed enough, but okay. The, the bombers dropped 152.5 tons of bombs in Prague. <sighs> Parts of Newtown. And... Have, you, have, I, have either of you been to Prague? Oh, I've never been to Prague. No, I've actually. Been to... It's no, no. One of these places I really want to go. Yeah, this, this, I, I don't want to excitedly shout road trip, but it's, it, it will be a neat place to, no, I'm just saying, visit it but i also want to get get back to prague i don't know what the situation right now is with the with the borders and uh, and uh, whether they got covid 19 under control but prague is an absolutely wonderful wonderful city and um, yeah i didn't know that it was so extensively uh, bombed or well extensively accidentally bombed Man. between brackets accidentally <laughs> yeah right yeah who knows right because that's true that's true uh, that's what they told uh, to the people of Nijmegen as well but that wasn't the case yeah it wasn't so, the case yeah is, no. is there, it's is always there... been been told as the, like the the vergissingsbombardement yeah. but like there's also been like documents saying it's well it wasn't that much of a mistake probably it so. was just it was just to put pressure on the Germans then on yeah the and also like bomb church towers and stuff Ah, right, because of the, yeah. the, the church towers were, were, were like... Yeah, vantage positions. points, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. This is says bombing mistakes common. YouTube video a couple of days ago where an allied bomber or bombing group mistook a Swiss city for a German yeah. one. Yeah, wow. because it's I mean, quite hard especially to... to... I mean, bombing <laughs> mistakes uh, happened as well, right? It's... Especially the the last Iraq invasion by the U.S. is infamous for on-off like mistakes or what has been claimed by the yeah. U.S. to be mistakes, right? And we have hypersensitive radars and whatnot. Yeah. So like I can't imagine they had like radio beams guiding them to the target in like a general direction, like the the way they need yeah. to go. But then it was like pick out a city from above which you've never seen before, and also like yeah. the American tactics tactics of just bombing everything. So. Yeah, well, 
that uh, that's something that and particularly uh, like sending um, americans to um, in europe where they like yeah have no conception of the geography they have to tack on right yes exactly yeah, no, Not... true true I mean, yeah, it's we had a we had a a, a very uh, serious, uh, well, not necessarily accidental, a bombing incident in the Netherlands with uh, I, f- I forgot the, the name of the town now in Ur- in Iraq, where uh, IS. Oh, so, uh, yeah, Hawicha, ha- 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 something like that. Yes, if you could, we could Yeah, I'm that. going searching now. Uh, which uh, I mean, they hit the target that they were meaning to hit, but the target was its uh, munition depot and just absolutely wiped out um you know a major part yeah. of uh yeah it was Hawija. Hawija. Yeah. Of, of that town just an entire neighborhood more or less flattened just so many civilian casualties it it i mean i just don't understand war at all <laughs> but it it baffles me that just bombs <laughs> in general have have not been made like into into just you know Forbidden weapons, even the smart bomb, just whatever, can just do so much accidental damage. The smart bomb, what a stupid word that is. Yeah, but and also like bombing civilian places. Yeah. Like the like the, the firebombing of Dresden had no military use or anything. Right. So, and that was only like banned in like 1970s, I, I guess. Yeah. So. And the British. Which is weird. Land. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, just just bombing civilians indiscriminately wasn't banned until 1970s. And even now, it's now you see not to get like super like recent and, and, and political, but even now you see that 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 border is shifting again because you know if 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 whatever force uh, in the air wants, they just designate the people on the ground as as terrorists, and all of a sudden yeah. they're enemy combatants, right, instead of civilians. So it's just a, a very murky and horrible horrible territory. Anyway, all right. I mean, this is <laughs> not necessarily a. A, a game that is, is nice for your for your view of humanity, but uh, fortunately we have our friend, a friendly grandmother uh, Ludmila to uh, to talk to us about this. So, what did you do after they took Grandpa away? Yeah, what do you do after such a thing? Clean? Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> you clean Gestapo ransacked the apartment. Everything was a mess, so you start to clean. That is a, In, a yeah a recognizable human impulse, right? That's what I wanted to say. It's very much what happened now with the COVID crisis, right? Everybody was all of a sudden stuck in their houses. Everybody's like, so I have to clean the house? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes I have to true. fix that thing that I've never been fixing because I'm never here, but now I'm here. So yeah. it also is kind of a, it's a, a, an orderly reaction to an uncertain situation, right? Yeah. It's like, you, you don't know what's happening, so you might as well make some order around you, so you recognize like the things are in place, and you can process uncertainty. All right, so like, let's let's clean. <coughs> uh, I, I, no, this is well. This is I mean not nice because this is a, a, a an apartment that is just ransacked by the Gestapo. But I guess we have to clean. Yes. yes. Oh, I think. Oh, man. You have to Clicking. click thirty-one times. You have to click thirty-one times. Yes. So I, this is I, all you. This is all me. I will do that. And and while I do this, I will just okay. Oh, there's some. So I came to Prague. In, oh, so oh, Mila is a a pediatrician, or she wanted to become a pediatrician. She wanted to be. So she lived in a student dorm. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Um. So when the Germans decided to close the universities, the Nazis occupied their dormitory and took people to concentration camps. They left us girls alone, but I knew several of the young men they took away, at least in passing. Oh, wow. Yeah. But what? Mm. Yeah. Ration coupons, I think. I think, yeah. <laughs> Don't say everybody has these lying around, but a lot of people still had these lying around after the war in the Netherlands as well. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Fewer go- goods as the war went on, not to mention those endless lines. I used to visit the Chermaks, the ni- this nice family who lived below us. Sometimes they would put something aside for one of the Jewish families who lived in the neighborhood, who of course didn't get so many rations or any at all. So their children would have milk, eggs, and things like that. So I will say that... So, oh, that's not... Ken- Kenkata ID card. Everyone needed one. 
We were originally given a protectorate ID card, but we had to exchange him allegedly to make us more unified with the German Reich, of course. Passports are a very powerful tool of nation building, as uh, the Brits uh, now know as well, right? With their what is it, blue, yes. blue, blue passports? <laughs> Stupid blue passports. Stupid blue passports. Flashlight. Okay, cool. Uh, so I, I, I think I have a flashlight like this. One. I want to say, man. One you like press, or you like uh, how you say, knipe? No, uh, not a knipe. Not a knipe cut. Is not, not okay. No. No, I think this is so. I. We had a, 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 a Zuck lamp like this when I was growing up. It had these huge batteries inside. Uh, it was hey, yeah, yeah. Basically, like it, like it was basically like a tin, like a, a tin box with a light stuck on top hey. of it, and there's a huge battery right in there, and it gave yeah, about yeah. the light of you know your 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 phone screen <laughs> that we have right now. Um. Yeah, yeah, we had those for sure, for sure. They were, they were. Back then, they certainly felt old-fashioned already. Let's put it like that. But they had these little stands that you could put them on. But yeah, need 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 to see them back. Right? Yeah, exactly. You could put back, and then it was a stand that was basically a lamp. Yeah, yeah. The work ID card required everyone to work. Whoever didn't have a job to register for employment at the labor office. I was fortunate to find a job at City Hall after they closed the universities. It was offered to me by an acquaintance who I used to know from my hometown, Melnik was directed there otherwise i would have had to return to Melnik. it's a, there are so many things in, in in these little little stories that like this is really about the the networks the local and social networks that became so yeah extremely important in the um, in the in the war uh so uh, my other grandparents they my 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 grandfather he was very lucky because he was he was uh basically the a farmer's son very close to Rotterdam, so they never lacked for any any sort of food, and uh, and became therefore became part of this you know this, this expansive social network around just trading food stuff for other for other services or things or sometimes just trading but just giving it away, and there I mean probably you have your own stories about that sort of stuff but uh... all right well twenty one more uh, so I will say that I um, I'm absolutely in love with this this mini game because it's such a it's just a oh, it's, yeah. it's like a hidden object game right that we played a couple of uh, months ago now yeah that's what Pasco said you've been trained uh, you've yes. been trained because of that uh... because of that secret civilization okay. but this just shows that like what is an extremely silly game like secret civilization that in the right context yeah. with the right story and narrative all of a sudden this becomes super meaningful right it becomes instead of like extremely silly clicking on things it becomes extremely cool and relevant to do and that that's that's you know that's the that's the magic of game design right when you have a game mechanic on the one hand that can just be used for for good or bad quite literally and then it just it has to connect somewhere very nice right so the, those are the leaflets <laughs> and after like how the... parts of the house are like uh drone and parts of the house are like picture is, right or is everything drawn? i think it's no, all right? drawn but some parts are more crude like crude drawings and some are more realistic yeah it's nice yeah yeah, yeah i mean it's <laughs> it I looks like a photo but some parts look like a photo ah, i think like the back radio. part of the background must, must... a theater uh. program I used to go to the vino radi theater to see performances they were better than the movies <laughs> But when Heidegger yeah. came to power, the German, Germans set it down for good. Of course, no fun to be had with, with Nazis. It says with Jezek, the record was banned, but fortunately the Gestapo didn't notice it. All right, I need some crutching here. Jaroslav Jezek. Tisic, or whatever, I'm, I'm, I don't speak any 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 Czech, but... Uh, Jaroslav Jezek was a Czechoslovakian composer, pianist and conductor, author of jazz, classical, incidental and film music. He was born in Prague, Prague quarter of Siskov, family of a tailor. He was almost blind from a young age. He did composition at the Prague Conservatory as a pupil, Boleslav Irak. The Master School of Composition. Um, he collaborated with the avant garde artists of pre war Czechoslovakia, such as Viteslav Nezval and E. Ah, so that 
they're really not necessarily nationalist but patriotic uh, type of of composers that just had this the this sense of history and identity and culture that wasn't wasn't fitting in with uh, with the uh, the yeah. germans idea um, of, uh, of of what culture was supposed to be all right it says the first part of his work consists of chamber piano and cons Concert and compositions created first under the influence of Stravinsky, of the Parisian Le Six, of Arnold Schoenberg. Uh, that he did his own, like, more modern expression of jazz. Ah, right, of course. I... Yeah. Movie tickets. I didn't care for the films at all. If we did, we only saw Czech films. We didn't watch German films as a matter of principle. Yes, I could, I could, I can sympathize with that. And the Germans gradually banned anything that wasn't German. But I'd like to watch the occasional romance film, even if Grandpa would laugh at me and call him corny. <laughs> nice. Grandpa's prized possession. In fact, it's how we first became acquainted. He used to play at the medical students ballroom dance before the Germans closed their school. So you know what this really reminds me of this section? is uh of uh, uh mata Haggis's game um yes i wanted to say that yeah so oh i forgot the title now it's horrible let me think let me think let me um, uh, it's, um i wrote a, i wrote a i wrote a games we dig about of him, right pictures of him but uh, i'm gonna look it up right uh, now. stories of him and yeah, fragments of him. Fragments of him. Thank you, Aris. We were we, we were getting there. Fragments of him. So this is a game. What is uh, yeah. It's a game about also about interacting, sort of. It's a it, it's a more recent uh, mem sort of life life history, but it also does that through through uh, through a lot of uh, objects, and it's really neat. It's a really not neatly designed uh, little experience. Really, um, not not for historical purposes necessarily, or like narrowly defined historical purposes but really to it's a it's a it's a game that will tell you how to deal with uh, with loss so i want to tell you how but is it is about how how to deal with loss or how one person has dealt with loss all right anyway boom oh not i was i was thinking we were there oh is it like oh no i, I have i cleaned up my room already no not entirely okay okay <laughs> grandpa like looking at the photos again until under the Germans, it got worse and worse, like all magazines and newspapers. So we bought it less and less. <laughs> right? Any any mess left? Any mess? Yeah, there was like broken, the broken. No, the other room. Oh, right here? The, yeah, the, uh, there were like broken oh, wait. Uh, plates. But the broken plates are already gone. I think. They're gone. Ah, uh, you were so quick couch. on the click. Couch. What? Couch, Sorry? right? The couch. The couch. On the right, on the in the kitchen. All right. No, no. Right. I well, think because it I must be here. Uh, must be here. Over here. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. The bed, maybe. Yeah, no. The bed seems seems alright now. Plants. Ah, oh, the plants. Yeah, the plants. <laughs> this is this is my house. I don't know if a plant just stands somewhere randomly on the floor. It's like, yeah, belongs there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's also what I do. This, this plant house, sparks like. joy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh oh, let's have a look. Four last things. Yes, oh, and Procession to Calvary. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, uh, Procession um, to Calvary. We're, that game is in our crosshairs. We're, 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 uh, we're, we're, we're going we to play it. We're going to play it at some point. Yeah, no, for sure. We're, we're playing that game at some point. Um, just have to find the moment for it. So many games to play. So many games to play. So little time to stream. so <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's the angry neighbor from before. Yeah. Wow, can you imagine sharing your your living space with somebody like that? Like in your same same building. I guess that yeah. let's let's delve into this a little bit. 
před les, za znoz náš, zaválkl lesy Němců do zadu, i nějaký články psal do novin také. Měla jsem z něj strach, jako by nás pořád pozoroval, pořád na nás se díval. Po válce byl taky obžalová z kolaborace. Bo když jako dědu zatkli, tak si po něj taky přišel dětka, no Bůh ví, co s ním a on vůbec ne. Let's have a little look. I'm trying to see if we can. Is that time? It, oh, that's not. That's not that. That's just a character that that's now in the game. Yeah, that's the neighbor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought maybe it was also part of the encyclopedia, but um, but uh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, this is one of the things that, of course, uh, you know, collaborators. Uh, what I mean. There were plenty of them during the war, right? And it's something that uh, I don't know if uh, if if my grandparents would have been collaborated. I don't think I would have found out. Or so maybe they were, right? Because it's you know, so, so sometimes yeah. I'm, I'm quite sure that, for example, um, or not necessarily my grandparents because they were too young to to be sort of that. But they're they're basically their parents. So it's, it's very hard to find out because, for example, there's this story in my family about my um, um, the, um, the 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 father of my great grandmother, who uh, went to. Um, oh, there's uh, some party going on outside. Just a moment. I these people they they got their their. They, they, they got their test from high school back or something. Now they're happy, uh, happily partying outside my room. But uh, anyway, that that he um, he he uh, worked in Germany um, for uh, he he was carried off to Germany to work in the factories there. And uh, one of the things that uh, he was accused of when coming back, of course, of being a collaborator. And this is something that I could probably never, uh, because you know my grandparents always said told the story that you know he didn't go of his own free will, but. He may have, right? Because you know, it's, and all these sorts yeah. of stories are <coughs> also with us, but they're just much more covert, right? Yeah, but there's also like degrees of collaboration, like yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Often when we we speak about collaborators, there's like these people, like this Mister Malik, who like ratted out to the Germans, but there's like whole other acts of collaboration to say so or not, like not resisting, which was often also seen as co collaboration in some cases. Right. Which is, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So this is probably the, the thing that was happening to my my great great grand um, yeah grandfather is that because he went to Germany, he didn't resist the fact, so he didn't go into hiding. That probably he was seen as a collaborator or uh, or some form of collaborator after uh, after he came back. Anyway, was that like an, an organized um, an organized force of collaborators from like the. Netherlands from like the oh, yeah. government of the occupation. Yeah, yeah like the, the NSB, which is like the Dutch National Socialist Organization. Yeah, but and they, they were and like they, they were just in charge yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, no, but they were like really faced out by the Germans because they were like, yeah, yeah. I mean, sorry, they, they had me. other ideas, and the Germans were like, well, we can use them in the start, but then we'll just ditch them all. So, uh, but most of the collaborators, like we, when we talk about collaborators, like the, the ratting out of people, were I think were mo mostly all NSB. Probably yeah, they they had some, yeah. You, well, we don't really know, right? Because we don't really know to what this this yeah. all happened covertly, uh, even even back then, because yeah. people knew full well that they were doing something that was. Uh, and I li yeah, I like Pasco sure. says in the chat, the Dutch SS volunteers. Yes, for sure. There were. Who we then sent to Indonesia after the war, which is also a really, really good move. Uh, yeah, that's true. They were, they were, yes, these, these absolutely problematic uh, uh, to allies, enemy combatants. Yes, this story I've heard as well, right? They were just sent off to yeah. Indonesia because, um, you know, let, let you them. Can, you can go to jail or you can fight for us in Indonesia, which is, yeah, yeah what they said to them. Yes. Yeah. yeah, crazy. Crazy if you think about it. It's. It's it's nah, it's absolutely vicious decision to send them send them yeah. off to your colonies. But, yeah. So that also once again points points out that in in a in any war there are hardly any good sides. They're just once again just like the collaboration. They're just degrees of 
degrees of yeah. well, not gray, shades of gray, shades of gray towards absolute black. Yes. Um, but in, in Greece, it was very like post-war because of the several like because of the hunt against communist mm-hmm. communist after the war. A lot of people who cooperated with the Nazis because they were also fiercely anti-communist were granted like positions in the army mm. um, to fight the communists, despite the fact that during the occupation they had, the occupation they had um, collaborated. Yes. As, yeah. a, as a result of that, a lot of people did not go to jail or never convicted or and were probably much, much quite happy to fight communists. Yeah, they, uh, yes. Yeah. Crazy. All right. Let's um, move on. So this. Mr. Malek collaborated with the Gestapo. Well, Ludmila says it all, all right? <laughs> That's actually a really, really good point, like tying into the last thing we said. Like for m- many people, we don't even have like proof they did anything. Yeah. Like for historians, which is like the worst because she can't like definitely prove that someone did something in the war. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then again, that makes for good like just game stories. Yes, no, that's mm-hmm. true. Yeah, yeah, no, no, for sure. And here it's it's handled with with tact, right? It's like she says, like, yeah, what would I know? Uh, I just don't want to talk to him anymore. And you know, fair enough. That's that's uh, that's that's what you that's what you do. All right. Okay. Oh. Well, we get to talk to him if we want. That's oh man, that's that's. Shall we dive oh, we a little bit to. deeper into this rabbit hole? Shall we talk? Or do you want to visit our grandfather? All right, up to you. I'll let you. I'll uh, let you decide. Let, let's... I want to see my grandfather. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's let... let's make it happen. Oh. Uh, Ah, well, no, no stories there at the moment, at least. Stories. Yeah, it's a, it's a. Let's go see. Uh, it's a powerful, powerful reminder of the fact. It's a powerful. Yeah. All right. Anyway, Joseph Malik. All right. Your grandpa's neighbor worked as a journalist at the Protectorate newspapers during the war. Okay. Well, what do we want? <laughs> okay. Wow. How to how to wow. start a conversation like this? My grandpa yeah. said that you were questioned by the Gestapo during the war and had something to do with my grandfather. May I ask you some questions about what happened? My grandfather's my grandma said that you betrayed my grandfather Gestapo during the war. Is that true? Well, she didn't say that, so I'm not. Let's, that. let's agree that this is also not a very good opening line when that you want just, to talk to someone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, unless I mean, you're planning like to punch them in the face, that's yeah. not a good. <laughs> if you want to have a conversation with them, and that is just not the not the way to go, you know. If you want to, just, I uh, mean, by all means, I I like approve of punching Nazis in the face, but at this point, we want to have a conversation. So Alvin Bro says, it's kind of interesting how the German occupiers don't keep that good of a documentation of people who work for them, seeing that many of their activities are well, if not good enough document. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but most of them would, would have been destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so let's try this. You don't like, okay, I understand you don't like talking about it, but I really would like to learn about those times from someone who experienced them. Alright, let's yeah, just try can... this. Let's just try it. Uh, let's, yeah, let's... Yeah, just try it out. Nope. Uh, no, he's gonna open it. Oh. Gonna open it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like closing the door. Hmm. Yeah, 
se hajer kovat zatasta postavili pomníš. Yes. Yeah, it's a it's a difficult take, but uh, what what he's going for here? But I, I I sort of get. So, what do you think about the assassination today? Vždycky jsem byl zásadně proti. Víte, kolik životů nevinných lidí to stálo? Yeah. 1400 lidí popravili. A ještě vypálili lidi, co a ležáky pro jednoho hajzrika. Nikdy jsem nepochopil, jak někdo může obhajovat čin, po kterém přišlo o život tolik lidí. To všechno jenom proto, aby se Beneš a jeho lidi zviditelnili v Anglii. Hm. Uh, so I, yeah, I guess this was some sort of political bargaining chip. Then this assassination is what he's trying to uh, to get at. It's um, it's. <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't know if if we want to discuss this this take in particular or it, not. Like, yeah, it's hard, right? Because there's every single thing that we yeah. you, you see in this game. You want to dis discuss it, <laughs> so I, I'm open. I'm uh, open to discussing it because why but it's not? Also, it's it's also a little bit of a take which like a lot of governments took, especially Dutch government was like well not the one in exile but like the mayors in towns, more often than not were like well I need to like take care of all the inhabitants of my city yeah so what's what's the the greater good even though so that's maybe what he's trying to say a little bit yeah it's... and what what happened I like that throughout europe um yeah. like why kill this one guy when you know there's like 10 other brutal guys next in line yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's it's the utilitarian argument I mean, we... right yeah and also because like now we see the, the assassination of Heydrich has something heroic because we now know that Heydrich was one of the guys behind the Holocaust, like the one, like the one who thought it all up, like the concentration tents and stuff. But I'm not sure if they knew back then, especially the ones in Britain, that he was the one doing all that stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so. and there are, the thing is, there are plenty of stories. Also, have like in where it's called um, this demo and the slaughtering of this demo where because um like greek militants um set up a, a trap for yeah for an uh, ss lieutenant literally killed the entire village yeah, yeah. it's yeah. it's yeah, the no, kind no, of discussion well, i think yeah um, it's the kind of discussion that has to do with resistance and whether like it, whatever you do, like each action that you take in any given context has some form of reaction. Even your inaction, even if you're not doing anything, it also has some kind of reaction. W whatever stance you decide to get, something is going to happen. Yeah. If you're not doing it, and and that is pretty much and was the discussion back then. I'm sure of the people who chose to. Uh, about their, yeah, like, exactly. He's not their two friends. They know, right? They, they knew full well. Everybody knew, in yeah. general, and everybody was afraid. And it's terror. Were it's some people... real terror, right? Oh, it's... You, can you justify the people who decided to, you know, to snitch on, on Jews? Because that was, you know, because otherwise, if you didn't, there are plenty of cases where people decided to not uh, give information about Jews, and they themselves were killed. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. can you justify the person who says, "No, I will betray my friends, because otherwise I'm going to killed"? In the case of resistance, like, how do you overthrow this thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. But how do you how do you make a change if you don't take an action? Yeah. No, it's true. Uh, that is that, and it's yeah. You know, as you say, and I'm probably also something that you're 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 familiar with right uh, but also that you're you're uh, right now that's something that when you're going to protests or when uh, when when you're or when, when you're not going uh, and when you're not resisting against certain in this case you know of course not um, occupy occupation necessarily uh, that we've seen recently but systemic racism that's that's another choice right if you say i'm not going to i'm not going to stand out here i'm not going to go and protest and, and but if you go and protest as you as you literally experienced right you you run some risk 
you run some risk and that and also like risk is not always to the individual the risk is is general you know you go to a protest something happens yeah the protest and and the police decides to attack then everybody is fucked yes, yes. um people like random people get hit at the same time is that the justification for inaction just for if if the mayor of a city or the police tells you, oh, you are not allowed to protest, I have to disperse you otherwise. Yeah. It's your choice. It's like, you don't really have a choice, so whatever you do, somewhat, so you have to make the choice that consciously serves you there or, or you feel it's the right choice. Yes, yeah. All right, let's 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 move on a little bit. Because I'm sure there's still more to to see. So what did we do after this? Další den byly všude vyhlášky, kdokoliv, co ví o pachatelích atentátu na Heidricha, bude popraven i s celou rodinou. Tisíce německých vojáků a SSáků prohlíželi dům u domu. Jednou jsem si uvědomil, že mám doma spoustu nebezpečných věcí. Kdyby je u mě SSáci našli, putoval bych okamžitě před popravčí čety. Destroying forbidden items. A lot of dangerous things at home that they get rid of. All right, let's see. Yeah, we have to find the dangerous thing. Yes. Yes. He fought in Russia as a legionnaire during World War One. So this is probably a, a thing that you were not allowed to have anymore. I'm gonna guess. I nope. don't think so. No. All right, let's destroy it. It was extremely dangerous to have weapons at home, even if they were inherited from family members and had no ammunition. He discovered the offender could be sentenced to death. Yeah. Okay. So what's that? Sparta soccer team season pass. At least we still occasionally beat the German sports. I think this is, this is not I big. Think you can keep right? this, I think we can keep this, yeah. Yeah. Neutral. Soccer matches between Czech and German teams occasionally turned into spontaneous protests during the early years of the occupation. However, there was nothing wrong with owning season tickets. Okay. Right. <laughs> Interesting. That's <laughs> spontaneous. Yeah, and also because later on in the war, there probably were no football matches anymore, so. No. Right, right. But this is not 1942, right? So uh, yeah. what, what, what is, I mean, you're a, you're a bit of a, a football football buff as well uh, omar so what is the history of football during the war well i think I, I mean for the netherlands i think the competition like continued yeah after the occupation for for, for a few yeah. years uh but then you had like the the, the man being called up to work in germany mm -hmm. and the fighting coming closer so i think in 1943 they were all stopped the amateur amateur football as well as the like the how do you say the the professional which were not professionals by then but still yeah the the, the Eredivisie. Yeah, yeah, first, first division. i think it's the same for all countries yeah especially yeah. because like sports as as propaganda like died out a bit yeah must be there must be i mean maybe the book is already written but there must be an interesting book to to be written or, or to be read maybe about um, because i can see how, how sports teams could be one of those places where you could really sort of band together and decide to take collective action for example resisting or you know maybe something else so maybe there's there's a, a neat, neat neat history book about theirs that somewhere anyway. cool all right let's see a picture of czechoslovak president tg masaryk or first president created Destroy. independence yes okay um, I just don't I just I don't know much about this way. particular figure, but I'm gonna say yeah, no, <laughs> no. Just, yeah, sorry, discouraged. Okay, the Germans considered Masaryk a dangerous symbol of Czech nationalism and a reminder of the independent Czechoslovak state. It was discouraged. Okay. Uh, 
bust of Jan Zitschka from Tochno. Zitschka was a 15th century general. He defended the Hussites. Yes. A Czech Christian. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is oh, yeah. going Just very back, very war ba uh, back in, um, in, uh, He's considered I the Czech that... hero. Yeah, that probably just destroyed. it. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Neutral, okay. Cic oh, interesting. Tsitsa and the Hussites were seen as nationalists and anti-Germans. Although Tsitsa's name was forbidden in public, it was okay to own a statue of him. Interesting. Well, like. Better safe than sorry, I yeah, would say. But think about the fact that there probably was some sort of <coughs> German bureaucrat that made decisions about all of these things. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, like the amount of bureaucracy under uh, Nazi rule was insane and the amount of collected information they would have for each particular country that they would occupy is like beyond compare. Mm -hmm. They would know the amount of details that they would know. I know that in relation mostly of course. It's just impossible that they it, they were able to, to manage and like collect and in, in such details, so much information about every city that they would look. You know, that's 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 still the case that military or, or sort of things tend to tend to have some really good info, not necessarily like on, on tiny details or not necessarily on, for the troops on the ground, but uh, like one of the best places for a long time um, to, to learn about countries on the internet was uh, the CIA, CIA country. Fund. Yeah. And still is actually um, yeah, probably yeah. many times better than than Wikipedia, and oh. still some occasions. So yeah, yeah, it's not so strange that the, that the Germans had this as well. All right. Anyway, let's see. Uh, okay, let's have a little looky. Oh, there's something in there. Okay, there's something in there. Membership card for the Association of Legionnaire Youth. I was in an organization for the children of war veterans. My dad was one of the famed legionnaires who fought in Russia after World War One. So I'm gonna say, probably not something good to to have lying no, around. Probably. <laughs> I, I was just saying, it's just yes. a bit, yeah. Veteran groups, especially the legionnaires, were viewed as dangerous. The occupying regime tried to wipe out their patriotic organizations and traditions. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else here? All right. Copeland. Autographed picture of Czechoslovak president. A. It's definite. Nope. That is an. Yes, probably no, because this, yeah, okay. This he's toy. like the, the president in exile, yeah. <laughs> yes, he's the president in exile. Uh, yeah. right. So, I mean, interesting, because through this through these items, we see somebody who's, you know, definitely a Czech, Czech nationalist or pa uh, uh, patriotist, or like a yeah, patriot, yeah. right? But then he said to fled, fled to London, yeah, of course, so it could be dangerous, yeah, I could see that. All right, so let's have a Hitler, whence and whither? What could uh, come? Yeah, just destroy this. <laughs> this just <laughs> by British historian W. Steed. I'm gonna say yes. This is probably not something good to have. Problematic. <laughs> A series of lectures written in autumn 1934. The author was among the first English speakers to express alarm about the political situation in Germany in the early 1930s. It would be bad if I were caught with a book criticizing <laughs> Hitler. Yes, probably that's some something that we could have uh, survived. A national community a sham organization in the early days of the occupation it seems like our political conflicts were finally over for better or worse i naively thought that this organization would unify us as one people it seems like resistance no i don't think so uh, it seems like like something that, resistance, yeah. that, that the germans institute national oh maybe neutral a mass political organization created in march 1939 Originally, they attempted to defend national interests in their occupation, but by summer 1940, they had transformed into a pro occupation organization oh, run by collaborators. Yes. Okay. So, Did you destroy it? Yes. I, no, no, I left it. I left it. Maybe I should have destroyed it, but I didn't need to. I mean, if it's pro occupation, then I don't think they will think the right. No, right. Okay. Oh, that's more. The typewriter. Membership card for the Czechoslovak so called community. Gymnastics was once a very popular sport. We competed I mean, like that's... real men. <laughs> well, it's well, uh, there's there's this interesting uh, Discord channel discussion going on on masculinity in games, but uh, this is one of those. Yeah. those. <laughs> uh, okay. The typography choice, yeah. Just... The typography uh, yeah. choice is pretty damn good. In fact, 
Yeah, but like the, the Hitler book had like a, a swastika as the Oh, the age, yes. Which was yeah. indeed a very yeah. interesting t- t- typographic choice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. Um, okay, well, I'm I'd say we keep it. This. Problematic. Oh. 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 On 11 foot. Uh, no. Oh, you didn't think that'd be. Okay. Well, sorry. Do you. Unexpected. Medal of the Masonic Order. Oh, yes, I don't think. A fraternal social club. Before the war, many influential people in position of power belong to the Freemasons. Wait. I... Uh, no, just this. Interesting, though. What what was the position of the Freemasons in, in, the... in the war? I don't. I know nothing about this. They were Let's probably see. banned. They were probably banned. Probably. Because, you know. That's what. Discouraged. They... Okay. Yeah. Mas- Freemasons is a dangerous yeah. cult secretly run by Jews. Of course. I mean, yeah, of course. Uh, okay. There's no way. Okay. All right. So um, I think that is it here. Oh, no. Membership card for the Boy Scouts. I joined because of my friends. I lasted until the seventh grade. <laughs> so I think. I want to say whatever, but I also want to say destroy it because the gymnastics thing was like yeah, a big gymna- no no yeah, about exactly, it. So. Exactly. So I, will, I mean, clearly the, the, the Boy Scouts uh, were, were not the Boy Scouts anymore and they were just supposed to be the, you know, the, like the, the Hitler Jugend. But I don't yeah. know. This could be one of those things that we could leave. Let's see. Problematic, okay. Scout activities. Uh, were yes, yeah. Entire organization was disbanded later that October. They were viewed as a threat. Yes. All right, that's already done. Um, wait. Yes, I think we're all done here. Oh, oh, oh no, we just okay. Their fight. Book criticizing this Sudeten Deutsche Partei. Okay. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's just destroy this. Stop thing. it. Stop it there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah. yes, so yes. Okay. Left wing organization workers academy. Nope. Oh man, I uh, absolutely love this. So the yeah. typewriter. Bought a typewriter so I can work from home. It's, I guess also no. I think we can. I think this is one of, one of oh, because those because we are we are officially uh, like, maybe I'm thinking that probably no in the sense of maybe yeah. like we can be. Like you can, can tell us we're writing leaflets or whatever. But yeah. he was a journalist, right? So maybe yeah. let's let's leave this uh, one. He can go to his office. <laughs> All right. <Okay>. All right. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> but it's also like yeah. yeah. It shows how some countries oh. differ greatly. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. Because I think they were not like we like radios. Or, yeah. The key thing was getting rid of yeah. the revolver. Okay. Yeah, I could say that was the only thing that mm. could put my life in danger. But other things could have caused problems for me. I destroyed anything that might have caused the slightest suspicion. All right, gain two okay. points. In the park. Huh. Did they have a search apartment? Yeah. Did we did we do the stuff uh, for ale <laughs> Oh, okay, we'll stay. But why were you brought to the Gestapo in question? Yeah. All right, I think we. Uh, yeah. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Sounds up. I hope the editor in chief likes it. <laughs> oh yes, we all know. We all know this problem. <laughs> Sun coming up. Well, you just have to like it now. Excuse me. Does Mister Malik live here? Uh, that's me. 
how much stats for you, sorry. Wow. Yeah, as you say, excellent, excellent. Smirks on this guy's face. Sorry? Like, smirks on the yeah. face. Yeah, yeah. Like, meh, yeah. fucker, we got you. Like, the he, art is fantastic. He reminds me, this dude reminds me a little bit of that uh, Gestapo dude from, uh, or Gestapo-like dude from... Uh, Indian and Jones yeah. and the, the yeah. uh, Raiders yeah, of the yeah, Lost sure. Ark, <laughs> yeah. which uh, yeah, I, I still think is one of the, in terms of sort of uh, like uh, uh, overemphasized uh, uh, characters, is still one of the best <laughs> movie characters uh, <laughs> out there from uh, sort of the pulp, pulpy movie characters. And hey, please get in the car. As you say or uh, said earlier, Aris, it is um, excellent, excellent drawing art like it's it's really yeah like comic comic style but at the same time uh, conveys the emotion yes yes exactly we only have a couple of questions yes yeah i'm sure the moment Gestapo says don't be afraid you're like okay uh, i'm afraid you probably have yeah, to be exactly afraid. you're yeah. you're gonna be I like are going yeah. to die Right, oh, you can show it then. Oh. Oh, so she saw it. Then he up. returned home, right? I like that. You were up all night writing an article. I wanna, <laughs> I wanna ask this question, Sorry, I Like, what? You don't wanna ask this because you know that this is how it works. Wow, no pressure. Pressure. What was the article about? Nechtěl jsem se dostat do jedné řady s aktivistickými kolaboranty. To by se nemohl podívat lidem do očí. Naopak jsem se snažil z nás ze všech udělat oběť atentátu. Hmm. Že tomu taky dokonce bylo. Všichni jsme byli rukojmými nacistů. Jenže to si západní rozhlad a propaganda odmítali připustit. Hm. Venice had no idea. The assassination of Heidegger was complete madness. He's sitting pretty in London, yet over here we have to survive. In Poland and Russia, they execute hundreds of innocent Germans. For each German killed, yes. Yeah. Now it will be the same here, or even worse. We Czechs need to understand that this resistance is senseless. This could spell the doom of our nation. High time to write an editorial. As a situation and times call for. Oh, okay. It's exactly what we discussed with. Yes. Huh. I wasn't writing a form of collaboration. I don't think so, but I still want oh. to. Oh, that was a difficult thing to ask. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Varovali před nedozřednými následky a vybízeli ke spolupráci a udávání. Nikdy jsem někoho nepoškodil, ale jak vidím, nemá cenu se s vámi o tom bavit. Na shledanou. Yes, after, after you ask this. 
Yes, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, fair enough. <laughs> Maybe I was, uh, but I was just, I was just into this, this, this line of thinking. It, no, clearly he is a little bit like irritated by this. He's, yeah. he's not portrayed as certain of his position by any means. He's like, that's what I think, and I don't care what you think in the attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, we did get some uh, some information for sure. <laughs> And we could maybe have gotten more information, but uh, it's, it's interesting what he what he said about that because um, uh, so uh, as part of the digital history course that I teach, um, we have uh, one of the what I coordinate one of the people guest lectures that comes up talks about uh, a big uh, a big uh, it's called Delver this big collection of Dutch newspapers and he talks about newspapers Dutch newspapers and sort of and also about the war. And one of the things that he always says and stresses and like, because he's a bit of a lefty, um, <laughs> says like, yeah, and the Telegraaf, you know, one of the Dutch newspapers still around, uh, was wrong during the war, right? It was just printing yeah. news that the Nazis. And that's that's something that, uh, uh, yeah, that's it, it's it's a it's a stigma that's still with that newspaper today, right? I mean, it's 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 I mean, it's yeah. not necessarily <laughs> right. Over. There, there, yeah. They were even forbidden after the war, so... If, until until when? Uh, they were officially forbidden, I guess, until... I think it was 1951, but, like, the ban was lifted in 1948 or something. Because it was, like, a pretty big newspaper. And, yeah. and like, they were cutting ties yeah. with everything, which was bad. So I guess they were like, well, let's just carry on like it used to be. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. Fine. But, uh, Fine. yeah, that's, a, that's the thing. Even if you sort of get get punished as a as an organization or individual you there's still this quite literally a, a stigma that is yeah it, it, yeah sticks will will stick with the telegraph for I, a long time right and as it, I, isn't, yeah. it isn't though because like when it's like Volkswagen and stuff like that that what they did with the nazis don't really have that stigma no, that's there are organizations yeah you're making an interesting point yeah, so. I have avoided it. yeah. Yeah, that, that be, be, maybe it's because like, from a newspaper you expect them the truth somewhat. Right? Yes, would yeah. hope. And and from like, an engineering company, don't have this association. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy to think about. It. So one of the things that, of course, always uh, still still, yeah, I mean, challenges me because I sometimes like their their clothing lines. But you go boss, right? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know the the person who who designed the Nazi uniforms. Right? He didn't. Nah, he didn't. Yeah, he definitely. No, they didn't. They like only produced, only produced. Um, like I don't uh, think he like literally designed them themselves, like himself. Okay. But nah, they were like definitely. They were definitely in like the wrong business. <laughs> yes. So they were definitely doing stuff with the uniforms. Yeah. No, but because it's it's interesting because I've I've I I wouldn't be able to find those sources again because I don't really keep track keep track of you no know, things at least talk about Hugo Boss but that <laughs> uh, sometimes you even hear that connection being made kind of reverentially like I've seen people talk about like like yeah but those Nazi uniforms really look good like real real boss things like yeah <laughs> yeah <That's, laughs> and it's like almost for yeah. that what you want to say. But for boss, it's for Hugo like boss, it has name? become this, this almost this, almost this thing that they can be sort of proud of, like because they're because they're they're iconic, they're iconic dress. There's, it's iconic dress, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, and and so yeah, but yeah, you're right that there's a lot of uh, graduations when it comes to organizations and companies as well, like uh, that that sort of how they got punished for that afterwards. All right. Anyway. Um, Ten, ten there, more all, there is a list of that is involved, for example, the, there is a list of companies that is involved in the Holocaust in, in one way or another. So if, if you want, you can look it up and see how many of these companies are actually huge companies still today and mm -hmm. they haven't been damaged by this. Oh, but, there's, so Alvin Bro says, I don't know if you guys have played this, but there's a game about writing a newspaper in an authoritarian regime by Lucas Pope. Yeah. Um, I forgot the name of the of the game now, but we've um, uh, is it not is it about a news newspaper? I thought it was about a broadcasting. It's it's in our Twitch channel. I think I even actually I think I bought it. The the Republic 
Oh, okay, that's not the game that I'm thinking of then. The Republia Times. I'm, I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking of another game that what came out relatively recently. Um, so let me just look for my Steam store Steam account. But let's let's have a little look at the Republia Times because you know games by him are uh, pretty good. I think for a Steam purpose. Let's see. Not for broadcast. Yeah, exactly. That's a relatively new game. I think about. Uh, you know, uh, making editorial choices as well about what what to broadcast and what not, uh, but it isn't it isn't set in um, uh, that you set the agenda. Uh, so mix for camera free each choose the headlines bleep the bad language. So it's a a little bit less politically engaged. Yeah. Okay. So the Republic Times is papers please. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's yeah, I know that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, papers please. We know. It was one of the Which games is, uh, is in the culture arcade. Out exhibition. Yes. Oh, we could we could repeat the interview, but I kind of I mean I would do this if I were playing by myself. Uh, let's, let's, but let's let's press on. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we can in fact do that. So let's go back to our grandmother. Why did they arrest Grandpa? He didn't have anything to do with the assassination attempt. <laughs> Ale oni ich zabijali jako spekli každýho. A ja nevím, jak na jedu přišli, ale nikdo mi nikdy nic o tu sérii nepochmíli. Hmm. So, grandpa never... OK. Yeah. Po válce jsme měli úplně jiný starosti. Dědou to nebylo lehký. On o tom špatným nechtěl yeah. mluvit. No to víš, na to špatný se špatně vzpomíná, ale On si psal deník, já to ani nevěděla, a ty jsem tam něco hledala, já jsem to tam našla v jeho věcech. Hmm. All right. Clip the diary. Oh no. Part of the code and find a combination of letters makes text legible. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> it's also pretty hard. <laughs> Wait. Well, this is not going to be that hard. We can do this. All right. I mean, at least we don't sort of. It's not that hard. Seeing like it's only three things that we have to move around, right? Yeah, but in what language though? What yeah. what language will what? end up being written here? It doesn't. It 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 doesn't start to look like I... English <laughs> to me. I guess. Yes, but the first one was right. Like, you have to look at the black and the... Oh, no. Never mind. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no. There, there, there. On the left. On the left. Put on the left. What? One that you moved, put on the left. On the left? One more? Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, oh, there you go. You go. <laughs> yes, ah, they, they no, no, we're not, we're not done yet. We're not, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. You need to move the... Oh, no, the bottom one. Yeah, I think the, the bottom, bottom one. Yeah. I think one to the left. The other day. One to the right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, so then wait. the other um, way. L needs to one become... more to the left. The S. Keep 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 an eye on your S. Yeah, the S needs to be. Oh, S needs to be. Oh no, S. to the right, to the right. Move to the. Because that's the only one with an S, so we have yeah, to. Yeah, no, but, but like. Oh, it's the only one. Yes, 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 yes. But no, wait. It has to be here. S. Yeah. Because yes. oh. S and L, right? Yesterday. We need to go for the yesterday. Oh, right. Yes. M, so. M now becomes S. Wait, I'm so bad uh, so at kind of games. Move, move it one to the right. Move it one to the right. Oh, then one more. <laughs> okay. Go. There we go. S, B. Okay. We, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, whoa. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. We've been such good code breakers. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, code breaking. That's another interesting topic when it comes to, I mean, wait a minute. Is is there a, is there a game out there about World War II code breaking? Well, there's a game with a uh, part about World War II code breaking. Right here, you mean? <laughs> sure. No, it's called Heart of Iron 4. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, sir, you're right. Read all about it in Omar's review. <laughs> Uh, you're right, but I mean that's that's a that's not you you're not really doing code breaking there. You just, no, no. Yeah. But I think because like code breaking is way too complicated to make it to a game, 
which many people. Yeah, there are, there are code breaking games. Yeah, man, I I would say I would say there's there's potential here for a game that that is about that. I like, I mean, for example, Heaven's Vault is a code breaking game. I think I can't remember the name. I had played a, a, a hacking game, which was basically code breaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know what game you mean, but uh, not called hacking, but it's called something like like that. Yeah, something, yeah, something like. Yeah, would be would be. I think there's a historical game in there. That's uh, all right. So okay, went to the cinema today with Aegon. We got okay, <laughs> the most intense experience I've ever had watching a movie. To write something. Oh, that's nice. An unnamed country led by an evil dictator called the Marshal invades a small neighboring country to the south. Everyone in the theater knew, of course, that the Marshal is supposed to be Hitler. The unnamed country is Germany, and the neighbor is Czechoslovakia. And more importantly, it's pretty obvious what needs to be done. We must defend our nation from the German white disease. We're only a small nation, that's why we must defend ourselves. If someone were to attack us, it would grab, would grab a gun and fight. We all must fight. Egan and I swore on our lives that we would do it. Just sit around and watch what's happening in Prague. How the hell am I supposed to just sit around and stare at the world from a service window in the post office? Especially now as the Austrians enthusiastically welcome hero Hitler like a hero. That was a big part in World War II when Austrian Hitler. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Like, it, as part of the tactic of the of the Nazis initially was to create you know hotspots of German populations around to make sure they have a reason to invade yeah. initially several countries. And then once it was like war had started, then they could invade basically whichever country they wanted. But initially they needed the reason. Yes. Yeah. I told him that I wanted to join the army as a volunteer. Interested and asked me why I felt so this made me kind of upset. Everyone knows why, especially after reading his articles. He seemed pretty happy to meet such an enthusiastic fan. He promised to speak to my father and even wrote down our address and phone number. Huh. Yesterday, finally did it. We are mobilizing for war. Uh oh. All right. What I'm going to do, because we're at the end of our stream... I'm going to skip to 1942. For a moment. I guess that this is where... Sorry for skipping all this very, very beautifully written text. It's married. All right. It doesn't really matter the because it's going to be... Okay. I don't even want to know how he managed to arrange all this. His acquaintance probably pushed us to the top of a long waiting list. No one becomes suspicious at the post office them into some unsavory business. With Mina's joy with the new apartment helped me overcome the better at, at aftertaste of accepting my father's services. All right. Okay. Unpleasant business today with our neighbor, Mr. Malek. He's one of those ass kissers who has figured out how to live a proper German life. He claims that I'm breaking our nightly curfew by playing my clarinet. Even worse, I'm playing horrid, well, <laughs> horrid, <laughs> horrid Negro music. Okay. Um, who knows where you heard it? I said fine. Instead of bothering you with my horrid, horrid music, we'll just switch on some illegal broadcasts from London. <laughs> I think he almost grabbed his pants. <laughs> He's going to report us to the Gestapo. He has some relatives who are interested in our apartment. Oh, wow. Should I go apologize to Malik? Fat chance. <laughs> yes. Don't apologize to Malik. No. People begin to change under the constant pressure of these lies. We're all changing. Huh, wow. Ah, that's another uh, another reminder for the times we live in, right? People begin to change under the constant pressure of lies. That's uh, something that uh, happens as we speak. We are all changing. When we stand face to face with lies, we choose to keep silent. Although I suppose the hairs on our back bristles. Although I suppose the hairs on our back bristle a little bit, like a cat scared by a larger, more dangerous predator. Today I again listened to the bald bastard Morovich give <laughs> Ah, right. Yeah. Oh. So he was one of those people that uh, used to be his hero, but uh, 
is not anymore. He's a different man now, if I can even call him that. Can you believe that once upon a time I actually admired him? And now it sounds like he almost believes all this garbage about Hitler's thousand year life. Ludmilla would like to have kids. At this point, I'm not sure that makes sense. Uh, one, one, I'm going to just put it out there that um, this, this diary doesn't necessarily give the answers that we, because probably they're <laughs> further in the game. But it's very nicely written and very, um, nicely written. very, very human, very humanly written. Yeah. Left the country like the resistance fighters in London. Others can use the excuse that they have children and that they don't want to endanger their families. But what about me? Maybe I should do something like the third, the resistance fighter. I should make contact with him and figure out how I can help. Okay. Uh, so he met, meets an old friend. Maybe he was angry because I forgot to invite him to my wedding. I felt bad about it. And once I started thinking about it, I realized that I'd seen him a lot less after the wedding. Still, I was glad to see him now and really didn't understand what the hell had gotten into him. When he jumped off the train at the next stop, looking about ner uh, nervously, I decided to follow him. And then just as I caught up to him, it occurred to me, he is a Jew. He never said much about it. I mean, his entire family went to church. But it was at this moment that I put all the small clues and hints together. I understand why he backed out of the band. Um, why he stopped hanging out with us. And now where he is. All this despite the fact that so many Jews had already been deported to who knows where. I'm ashamed to admit how surprised I was. Too much. I went to see the third. He knows someone who can help E. Ah, right. So that's, he's trying to help his uh, Jewish friend. They were nice to me at the police station as if they knew what I was after. If all the good checks would unite, neither the Germans nor the collaborating bastards like my neighbor Malek will stand a chance against us. Meeting with E is done or exchange is complete. It was a crazy idea. I prefer not to think about what could have happened to us. But Mila notices something. She probably thinks that I have another wo uh, woman. No. Oh. A guy needs to look out for the Gestapo, but he also needs to be careful around his woman. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> Ludmilla was reading her magazines again today. She tried to provoke me with a photo of some actors on one of the covers. <laughs> this, is very, <laughs> this is very human stuff. <laughs> she knows very well that I don't like those fake model smiles. Actresses always have the dumbest expression like they couldn't count to five if their life depended on it. That garbage drives me nuts. I remember when Ludmilla took me to see some big flashy movie last year and I couldn't get over how fake it was. In this day and age, a real man shouldn't be acting as if nothing is happening in the world outside the movie theater. He sits and laughs at the movie, but he shouldn't be laughing when he knows damn well that the rest of Europe is at war. Acting like you have no cares in the world is so false and I simply cannot stand it. Man, there's some... Uh some cross cross temporal resonance. Uh, yeah, for sure. Here, there, apparently, to according to JA, there was a Cold War espionage game that had code breaking. Father wrote again. It's the same silly stuff over and over. I gather from his account of Uncle Kyle's birthday that they're planning a second secret party in the countryside over the weekend. So now the whole family is united in the fight against Nazism. They will heroically butcher a pig. Well, at least we can cleanse the guilt of our stomach with blood sausage. But Miller was sullen again today. We spoke again about having children. At least we'll have a beautiful day with the sausage. All right. Well, that was the plot thickens. <laughs> thickens. Uh, so he clearly had some some stuff. Some thing. stuff going on, but we don't know quite yet what stuff was going on. And uh, we are not going to find out during the rest of this uh, this particular uh, stream. This may be, a, may be a game that we will get back to at some point, although it's kind of hard to, um, to put it back it's, up. It's a cliffhanger, and it's the kind of thing that I think people who, who are watching this stream definitely like now it's up to this because we didn't yeah. go that far in anyway <laughs> and and keep playing from that point on. It is. Yeah, no, it's, it's, um, it's true. It's like... Um, it's also... We don't have to stream the whole game because I think you have a pretty good idea what it's about and, uh, yeah. and how... I'm solid, solid game, right? More than solid, Omar. Very solid, yeah. yeah. Very A very good. solid game. Yeah. <clears throat> like, I want to commend Fresh University and all the people who worked on this because it's like job really well done, I think. Yeah. 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 Excellent. 
sure. excellent style in terms of atmosphere, uh, really good writing, acting is um, absolutely ace by these people, <laughs> if they're actors, but I guess they are, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's really yeah. so. I can I can only imagine that. What 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 would you think if you would play a game like this in, in for 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 in, in your history classes in university, uh, Omar? Or even maybe high school. What do you think? Awesome. Yeah. I think it's like a really good way to bring about the more personal side of history, which you don't really, especially in high school, you never get the personal side of history. Yeah. Sometimes you do because like the teacher is a good teacher, but most of the times the books are like, oh, this happened on the 2nd of uh, August, 1942. And like, and you don't really get this personal stuff. So I think it's yeah. be like a, a really good uh addition especially for like i i had grandparents who lived through the war but like later on the children going to school don't really have grandparents anymore who lived through the war yeah yeah or other periods in history yeah it's like the, the, the vast majority of people that are now going to high school don't have grandparents that yeah that, that, that survived the, that, that saw the war yeah no for sure and one of the things so i i think that just by itself this this, this game about czechoslovakia uh, is interesting and cool and would already be of immense value because it touches on so many themes that are just, you know, I guess sort of cross-cultural or cross-national for, for the experience of the war because we were already recognizing so many things. But that also yeah. I could see how with this with this template, right, the way that this game works, it, it, it would be more of a matter of finding a narrative that would work for, for example, yeah. for the Netherlands yeah. or for other countries and then and uh, just just doing some background research and rather than just changing the game systems at all so i could i could see how this uh, could be a, a franchise sounds a little bit uh, <laughs> dis disrespectful but like something that is a yeah that makes its way across across the world and even even for other things than than the war right maybe for other sort of yeah yeah i think it's a really Really neat format that uh, that yeah. the game devs have uh, have uh, found themselves in. So cool. Uh, there's going to be um, uh, a new game coming up from from these devs. Uh, it's, I forgot the name of it now. It's it's um, in 1945. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. Uh, yeah. But you can also play that 1942 in mobile devices as well it's i think it's both on google play and app store or it will soon be anyway if it's not already out there yeah. they are also developing a version for linux as well so you will be able to play the game literally anywhere. and this game is also i i would suggest so almost as like could you play another i would say play this game yourself or maybe even yeah. as we did yeah. with a couple of your friends sitting together and talking about this stuff like really just take this as an opportunity or with your partner just sit and talk about this stuff or maybe even with 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 your the elder generation um and it's it's also uh very inexpensive for i think for what it is uh it's i think it's about nine euros i think I'm yeah it's seven before. euros 39 cents right so yeah. i mean this is not something that 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 will it, yeah it's a I book mean, yeah it's a book yeah it's like a but but then a, so Go go buy the game. I would say. All right, it's been my pleasure, people, to um, to great. Uh, to um, just to uh, sort of a uh, scamming stay. We are playing the world again. Yes, yes. For as, sure. as as one does, as as we three do, like yes, exactly. On <laughs> every every month now or something. Yes. Yeah, for I think we're. Set, this is probably the seventh seventh stream I think that we're gonna be doing. Nice. This, um, so, yeah. Maybe yeah. we've yeah. been doing this for, for a good while. Um, Tuesday we're playing Ghost of Tsushima. Yes, Ghost of Tsushima. Sushi, Sushima, my friend. Sushima. Someone is really hyped for that game. I'm so hyped for that game. I'm so uh, hyped we have game. a person who is insanely hyped, and we will be here. But hype. And Thursday, next Thursday, the twenty third. We are doing summer stream extravaganza. Summer stream extravaganza, exactly. You can streaming three o'clock European summer time. Yes. Playing Don of Man. Don of Man. Uh, we have an clipping interview. a little bit, Aris, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, so that's why I'm sort of aping you. 
<laughs> I don't know why you're clipping, but you are clipping. We have an interview. Yes. Jack Harrison, the developer of the fact that we played a few streams ago. You can catch it on YouTube. We have Civilization 6, where we play as Maya. We have a bunch of guests for these games. And then again, Old World later on. So we have Very like yes. six hours content six coming up hours next Thursday. Six hours of content next Thursday. So if you think like six hours, isn't that much? No, no, no. We once had a 24-hour stream. In, uh, so and that was something that we'll never do again. <laughs> but maybe we will. I oh, no, you cannot. Convince maybe me. you will. <laughs> maybe you will. Uh, but I think we can handle six hours of content, especially because Omar will be there for the tail end again, and we will be joined by a lot of yeah. friends and 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 experts. So yeah, and you should be there as well, future people on YouTube. If you are seeing this before next week, then make sure you're there on the twenty third. But if you're right now with us in uh, on the stream, yeah, just join us for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. After that, there's going to be even more fun. There's going to be Argacon, Argacon, Archeo Gaming Conference 2020, the very first edition of it. And there will be a ton more stuff. Not from us things. only, but from many different archaeologists and just generally all around other cool people talking about the past and games. Going to be excellent. These are some excellent weeks for um for people that are very much excited and passionate about the past and play as Absolutely. are we but at the same time i'm also pretty excited of just getting some rest I think oh yeah applies to you so that's absolutely yeah i think uh, that's all for us uh, for tonight cheers stay happy stay healthy and see you next time bye